Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Moon Jewel Awakening or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So I am feeling led to do a, a love reading, so this is what we're going to do. This is Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node as well as Venus. I would check this out if any of those placements fall in your ninth house as well. We have vulnerability is what fell out on the table. It says you can be completely open with this person. Um, we do have boundaries here at the bottom of the deck and protect it. It says firm boundaries are needed now and it says you are safe and divinely guided. There are a few obstacles that you will have to overcome, which is why there, like, there are some boundaries here that need to be established. Um, in order for you to overcome, there's some un, there's still some unhealed, unhealed wounds that are blocking the forward movement here. Um, but th those boundaries that that you're being asked to put up are are a way to protect what still needs healing. Um, there is some mutual attraction here. Um, and this could be this person that has some boundaries put up uh, to kind of safeguard them around some unhealed energy that they still have. But let's see what this is talking about. I am going to go in and I'm going to get this person. I'm going to take a look at this person more tonight than anything else. But let's look at the subconscious of this person that we're talking about, Spirit. Vulnerability, boundaries, protected, and obstacles. Okay, Spirit. What's in the subconscious? Thank you, Spirit. It says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson, and I feel you leaving me behind. So this person... Um, has went through some type of spiritual upgrade. Um, we'll see with this. Uh, let's let's anchor this just a little bit with this before we go in with the a mirror and get some details. Uh, so great fortune wants to pop out here. So there's a pathway that there's a there's a choice that must be made Ooh, official person wanted to say something um so there's a pathway that must be chosen that can lead to great fortune uh -huh. okay let's see how this comes together vulnerability you can be completely open with this person i am grateful for this spiritual lesson great fortune okay So something is definitely being mastered here. There's progression into something. Let's see, Spirit, can you show us what's going on here? So th this could have been with someone that you had a good time with, but it was a short fling. It was short time, but it, um, it was definitely short term. It could have ended in heartbreak. What's going on here, Spirit? Uh, we have a union. So there's some type of short term union here. At a long distance, there's an ending to some type of serious relationship. Um, this could be a work relationship, and it's really a gift from the divine. This freedom allows something that's been like held back, that's been limiting something's potential, someone's potential. It's allowed, like, oh, okay, let's get a little bit more. So we have friendship here at the bottom of the deck and a, a, a burnout female. But more than anything, if you're a feminine energy and you're not like this could be a feminine partner, a work partner or someone that could be younger than you. But most importantly, there's something about this friendship that is intense. Like something was very intense, very youthful. It was just like very fun, energetic. And it could have been a, a work partnership that came together and it was fun while it lasted, but now it's over. <clears throat> uh, I don't, something about a throat chakra is going on right here. What's going on, Spirit? Um, I, I don't, let's see. 
let's let's ground this and anchor this just a little bit and then we'll jump in with the tarot sage if any of these messages have been resonating up until this moment we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up guys it does help get these messages out can you anchor short term in union please thank you spirit so there was ooh so that's a promise so there there could have been a short term serious relationship this union card does say marriage it says serious relationship marriage and partnership so there could have been a short term partnership in whatever form it was uh, I really do feel like I could be dapping into emotions or there was a promise of something getting to a marriage and it never quite got there. The, it, I just know that this, whatever this short term union was, it was based out of some type of goal. There was a benefit that was coming from it. And there was a reassurance of that as well. We have family that wanted to fall out and... Um, Um, I, I feel like that the bond, because we have family here and it says bond, home, or background, and then we have illness here. So I feel like that the bond is kind of like breaking down inside of this connection. I feel like that um, the bond is breaking down inside of a connection for sure. Let's see, what is this work and friendship thing? So we have fury and profession. So there's definitely like whatever this energy is that is breaking down. I feel like that it is affecting someone's work in a in a like in an unhealthy way. Um, I feel like that this even this partnership, this union that came together um, for a short term could have been something that started out on the basic lines of work. But it's like <clears throat> if something got crossed. If energies got crossed, it was definitely a profession, like there was some type of contractual agreement. It was a, this, a pathway that was chosen to ensure great wealth, I feel like. Um, and I feel like that one way or another, one was able to feel vulnerable inside of this connection. It was like you felt like you and this person wanted the same thing. Um but boundaries were crossed or I don't know, there's something here. Um, boundaries were crossed and somebody's unhealed traumas began to affect this connection. And when it began to affect this connection, it began to affect the, um, the not only the connection for whether it be for work or something else but it also began to affect someone's performance in a family setting all right spirit what's going on here show me this person that sagittarius is dealing with thank you so we have the full card. This person jumps into situations haphazardly. It's like while they do, while they may be able to have a big dream, I have a dream. As far as like actually trying to implement it, 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 it just never really gets up and off the ground. It stalls out. And I feel like that this is because this person really does come from a childlike perspective. There are some unhealed wounds that are blocking out their their complete vision and therefore they're not really able to delegate what they need truly delegated and they recklessly handle situations and injustices happen show us more on this person this is a uh, uranus energy so this could be an aquarius what's going on here spirit thank you um, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Star card, as well as the Five of Swords. So, um, in the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I definitely see someone that is wanting to come in out of the cold. We're just going to call it what we're going to call it. But at the heart of this matter, it's like... Um, 
there's a struggle getting things past this five of swords and getting things to move towards rippled waters and that's because there are still unhealed wounds like there are still unhealed issues it's as if whatever recklessness this person has caused in your life this person is trying to go at things in an immature way um, to balance something out because they have no desire to truly balance this out the six of pentacles once again falls in the obstacle position and that lets me know that this person is like this person this person is the epitome of unreciprocal like this person does not have the ability to reciprocate something with you whatever and, and they could be because of some unhealed wounds or whatever the case might be but this person has some type of um, internal conflict that that causes them to go into um, survival mode and that survival mode is preventing them from actually balancing this thing out and um, move it's, it's preventing them from cooperation from cooperating and inside of unions it is truly affecting them there there has to be this healing that needs to take place and I see that healing is a struggle right now Show me this person's feelings and thoughts as it pertains to Sagittarius. Two for the feelings. So we have the Page of Cups and the Six of Wands for the feelings. Let me get two for the thoughts. Like I still feel a young offer. We have the in their thoughts. They have the. Uh, High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles. Um, you know, the Six of Pentacles, I mean, the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. There's uh, one, this person is, it's like this person is wondering, it's like tick tock, tick tock tock. When is something, like this person is expecting something from the past to bubble up. Like they're expecting something from the past. They're waiting on something from the past to come in. And so this person is carrying a secret in their thought space for sure. But let's let's step it back here and go into their emotions. It, like there's I, this person is emotionally stunned. I will say this, especially if this person is over the age of 20. I feel like that this person is emotionally stunned. I feel like that this person has an ego issue. Um, now, as as far as this person's emotions towards Sagittarius, um, this person is going to try to make a small offer in hopes of a win. Emotionally, they feel like that they only have to offer you a little bit in order to walk away and have some sort of victory over here. In their thought space, they know that it is only a matter of time. Like They feel like that you already are aware of some of their secrets or something from the past. But if you're not in their thought space, this person wonders if you already know or they wonder when you're actually going to find out. This person does know that you they in their thoughts, they are very much aware of the fact that you are intuitive. Um, but the, I do. <clears throat> I feel like that this person has some type some type of hidden agenda behind their offer. They also um, this person. Uh, I don't know there's something about that past that they don't want to creep up and it's like they're always just going to give you just enough just to make sure that the past doesn't resurface or that's in the, that's what they think what likely actions can Sagittarius expect from this person spirit in the next we'll do the next week in the next seven days what likely actions can this person expect? I mean, what likely actions can Sag expect from this person in the next week? Let's get three cards for this, if you don't mind. So we have the three of cups with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm being told to do this. Um, this person's gonna this person's coming back. This at least 
this is what actions you can likely expect it's like this person is balancing out some type of ordeal to move forward like like this person is trying to formulate some sort of way to reconcile the friendship here now there is some type of profession like there is some type of gain that this person is expecting from this but i must go back this whatever like whatever strategy this person uses it is in it uh, the strategy is also to keep something hidden because they know that when this discovery is comes about that that it is going to leave them out in the cold and uh, there's some there's some confusion around some type of queen of cups energy there's some type of confusion behind this queen of cups and it could be a Pisces or a Pisces. Could, this could be a Pisces that's feeling like they missed out on an opportunity with you or whatever the case may be. But whatever I, this person is coming in with some type of offer, some some sort of desire to balance things out, to compromise something, to want to work, overcome this um, financial hardships or feeling left out in the cold they're wanting to give this one more shot I feel like that's what you can expect from this person but the strategy that they're going to use is going to be leaving something out so what is the most important thing that Sag needs to know as it pertains to this person What is the most important thing Sagittarius needs to know as it pertains to this person here, Spirit? Thank you. So we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Death card in the reverse. This person is refusing to let go. This person, uh, like, this person gets bored very easily. Okay? So, like, this person, and they crave attention. So this person is constantly going to do little things to give you this hope that things can move forward. But then it's like this person is going to um, meander about and still go and entertain other things. This person has a commitment issue. This person has some unhealed issues that need to be like it. It's blocking them from actually moving forward. There's this fear of change, but they get bored very easily. So this person is always going to be in and out, in and out. It's like they're going to go over here and have fun. And then they're going to be like, uh -uh, but they don't do it like Sagittarius. And so they're going to come back to Sagittarius. And then it's going to be fun for a little while. And then they're going to get bored. And then it's going to be another round and around and around with this person. That's what that is telling me. So let's get some advice for Sagittarius and close this on out. What's the advice here for Sagittarius Spirit? Thank you. <laughs> to understand one, that you already know everything that you need to know about this person with the High Priestess in the Ace of Swords here. You already know everything that you need to know about this person. There has been truth and clarity offered to you in this reading um, with the Ace of, Ace of Swords being the last card out. Um, and it is, this is also telling me that there, that um, the moment that you begin to take action based off of the truth and clarity that you already know. We also have the lovers in the reverse here. There could be interference. It didn't come through very loud, but it did come through with little small hints with this person getting bored and meandering over there. But anyways, um, you know everything that you need to know as it pertains to this person. And Spirit is asking you and advising you to... To take that truth and clarity and to move forward yeah adventure take like try something new do something different Alrighty, Sagittarius, I pray this message offered you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below and in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward guys let's choose peace love and light Sagittarius